Hello, this is Roger, Low Vision Product Manager here at Humanware. In this video, I am going to review for you the settings account menu and the available options to you there. So as you can see, I am presently in the main carousel with the magnifier application showing. I will use the navigation button in the lower right with my mouse to click and navigate to the right until I find settings. And then I will use my mouse to click on settings to enter in. Again, remember, if I was using a touch screen, I could be swiping and tapping. Uh, I can also use my keyboard or an alternative access means to navigate through these different uh, menus and the interface. So the fourth item on the list here is my account settings. I'll use my arrow key on my keyboard now to navigate down. And then I will go ahead and click on account to enter in and review for you the options that are available to you. So most of this information uh, are things that you would utilize if you are contacting us for support or to understand uh, the status of your account. So uh, very first, you have a uh, what is called a standard license here. Um, over time, as we start to implement additional features to Prodigy for Windows and our low vision offerings, the license type may change, but for now it will pretty much always re read as standard. Underneath of this, I'll navigate down so it's highlighted, you will see the expiration date. Mine reads undefined. The reason mine reads undefined is because I work for humanware, so I have software that will continuously update forever. Now, a purchased license of software will have a date at which you will stop receiving upgrades and updates. This does not, I repeat, does not mean that your software will cease to function. It just means that once that date is uh, arrived, you will no longer receive updates or upgrades. We do sell maintenance agreements that allow you, allows you to keep those upgrades and updates happening. So that is what that means. So let's just use an example. If this said 12-31-2024, I would receive all upgrades and updates until that date. After that last day of this year, if I did not purchase a maintenance agreement, uh, I could continue to use Prodigy. I just would not continue to receive upgraded new features after that date. So you'll contact sales if that date is passed. Uh, but again, mine says undefined because I am using a company license that I will be demonstrating uh, forever. The next option in the list I will click on with my mouse here, and you will see that it says your license ID has been copied to your clipboard. So this is a tool that we've implemented for you to use when and if you need to talk with our customer service or technical support teams. It allows you to copy that license ID. You can see that it starts off with a string of characters there, 9, 3, E, 8, E, A, 1, E, and it probably goes on for a little bit after that. So probably easier to copy and paste that into a message that you can send to our customer service or tech support team. And what this will do is allow them to identify if your software is part of an account and find your account in our systems so that we can better serve your needs if you have to call us. I'll continue down now. Uh, the next item is profile. Let's tap on that. Now, you may recall that when you installed Prodigy the first time, you had to create a username and password combination. And so what you see here, uh, I have my system set to remember that. You should always save this information in a safe place. Again, I have my system set uh, to remember my username and password for the system. Uh, but you could implement or input that here and it will allow you to see your profile uh, that we have in the system for your account. If you've forgotten your password, remember your sign-in is always going to be an email address, whatever you used when you created your account, but you could click on the lower left here, forgot password, provide your email address, and uh, an email will be sent to you to allow you to reset your password to access your profile. But let's say I want to go ahead and take a look at my profile to the right here. I'll click on sign in. I am not going to click on this little I here, but that would show me what my password is. I don't want everybody to know what my password is, so I'm not going to click on that. Um, I'm going to click on sign in, open this up, and now you can see uh, 
all of the information that's in my profile for my Prodigy Wizard account. So very quickly, I'll click on each of these. I can edit my personal information by clicking there. And I can add my professional title, a nickname, a display name, and so forth. I can change my contact information uh, or add my contact information, my street ad address, and so forth. And if I want to, I can begin to edit uh, my username and my password information as well. Um, so those things can be edited over time. You first must create a second uh, login before you can delete one. Uh, so you can add an alternative email. That's what you would do here, uh, which would allow you then to swap out your email addresses and get a new username. At the bottom here uh, is the ability to implement two-factor authentication. So basically what this means is that you could have a message sent to your cell phone or another device uh, whenever someone is trying to log in to verify that it is you. Um, I don't know if that's super important to you in using the software or not, but it is an available option. And then again, once I click edit there, it takes me to each of these other available options over here. So if I click edit here, you'll see that it just takes me to a tab for each of those. So uh, quick, easy access to uh, any of them, and then I can navigate back to the others if I desire once I'm in there doing some editorial. So that is my profile. Uh, this is open in a browser window, so I can click the X in the upper right here and close that browser window out. And then if I am using my software in a school environment or an environment where another user might need to log in and use it, I can click on log out and this will disconnect my uh, account from this particular instance of Prodigy. Um, and then the next time I come back, I will have to enter my username and password. Again, in a school environment, uh, this is where you might want to go ahead and log out each time uh, so that you, your uh, system then is turned over to somebody else to use this instance of Prodigy where it is installed. Um, it can also be useful if you are trying to install Prodigy onto a new device um, to have it disconnected from one device while you're installing on another. I'm not going to disconnect right now. I'll tap on no here and just leave it at that. Um, so those are the available account settings uh, that I have for my Prodigy for Windows. Thank you for watching this video. Hopefully this information is useful to you. Take a look at the description of this video, find that feedback link and tell us how we're doing. It's the only way that we can continue to improve Prodigy for Windows and our low vision softwares to meet your needs. Thanks again.